If we're not at a Disney park, we're dreaming about being there, and a cup of Joffrey's Coffee Disney Blend helps. But what about when you're at a Disney park? The Joffrey's Disney kiosk and restaurant locator will make sure you never miss out. Whether it's a cool drink on a hot summer vacation or a great cup of coffee at a Disney signature restaurant, Joffrey's has you covered. Check it out at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to ResortLoop.com. I'm your host, Bob Collar. Again, Tim Scott's still on vacation. He uh, has extended his vacation, lucky dog that he is, uh, to enjoy uh, some some time, uh, alone time with his wife, which is really kind of cool, which kind of leads us into uh, what we're going to talk about on uh, today's show. Uh, Tim and I are at that point with uh, our uh, respective families. Uh, we both have uh, kids that we're, we're only going to have to deal with for a couple of more years, and then they'll be off to college. And uh, him and I have been talking, what what are we going to do? What do we do to go into Walt Disney World um, just just with our wives? It's going to be crazy. And and uh, so it's, it's uncharted territory for us. Tim did do that for, uh, for his honeymoon. Uh, but I, I've been going to Walt Disney World with my wife, uh, with our daughter, since she was eight months old. So I thought I'd bring in some experts who haven't quite embarked on that uh, kid journey yet. But uh, um, and when they when they do, they're going to come back on the show and then we're going to we're going to give them all our advice, which they won't follow, of course. And they'll do their own thing. So uh, I want to uh, uh, welcome to the show. You guys know them. They've been on our, our show before. Brittany and Justin Leeser. Uh, from you guys are out, what outside of Tampa? Yep. Very yep. good. Very good. So. Hey everybody. Hi everyone. There you go. So now a little bit. Uh, it, it's a little different than like what uh, I'm going to be going through and Tim's going to be going through because uh, we're going to have to make vacation plans. You guys are able to get over there a little easier than us, but still, that makes it even better. Because that, that's. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I was I was gonna say that's true. We you know we're about two hours away, but we still will uh, pop over for a weekend, even though we are fortunate that we have the ability to hop over for the day too. Right. Right. So so as a couple, um, you know, most people people tell Tim and I both, and we've got kids. We've had kids for the last twenty years. Um, when we say we're going to Walt Disney World, we get that look, you know, again, you're going to Walt Disney World again. What's what's that like for you guys? Because you're going as a couple people. What are they doing with you guys? Well, I think we're pretty lucky since we live so close that we know a lot of couples or people that are that will go over for the day, even if it's to Disney Springs or the water parks or to play mini golf. So I've been lucky that I don't get quite so many looks or usually people will say, oh, you know, is there a good bar to go to or or something like that. So people um, here, I think, really know it for the food and and beverage options when you're older. Yeah, I I would agree. I think that's how we share that we're going over to Disney. We're going over for either a, uh, a festival during a certain time of year or we're going to try a new restaurant or try. Uh, you know, over the next couple of years, we're going to have a lot of new attractions to try too. So, um, you know, we don't get too many odd reactions. <laughs> well, good, good. That you know, you bring up a good point, and that's the uh, the special events that Disney has. What what would be a really what are the best special events to to uh, go to Walt Disney World for uh, as a couple? Well, we try. When we when we go, we usually try to time them around either uh, Flower and Garden, which runs March to May at Epcot, uh, Food and Wine, which is coming up uh, August 31st through November 13th this year. Um, so basically, all food oriented. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Uh, my wife and I have talked. You know, food and wine is going to be a big one for us. So uh, we, we can't wait to, uh, to enjoy that. The beauty of what you guys have is you don't have to, you don't have to factor in school, right? I mean, you guys can that's, go in the off season. That's correct. And, and um, I'll preface a lot of what we're going to share is stuff that we learned from the original Super Looper, uh, <laughs> Mr. Joe Quattrochi, who also times his trips uh, in those seasons. So January, September, we also try to, Uh, take advantage of the fact that you know there's less crowds and we can have a more relaxed stay but that's as you said because we have the luxury of not having kids we really get to walk around and at food and wine there's so many food booths and so many different options we really like to walk around world showcase we'll split the small plates and and try six or seven different ones and and that way we can we always try to make a list (laughs) When we go through, they give you the menu, and, and we look through and look for all the options we want to try. Um, and it's just a nice, leisurely walk around World Showcase, and, and if you time it on the right weekend, um, the half marathon weekend not being one of those, it's usually not that crowded. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, and, and that brings up a good point. Now, um, how, as far as like rides go, I just I, I I was talking to my wife about uh, you know what the show was going to be about today and and uh, she said you know I don't I, I don't want to stand in line for a ride so how do you guys attack like if you want to ride a ride how does that how does that work for you? Well, Brittany is the queen of picking up a late fast pass when you know when we say hey we're going to go over for the day she's great at picking up something that we want to ride. So I'll, I'll give her credit there, but definitely we plan our whole day around uh, our fast passes. And for the most part, we aim, especially if we go over, you know, just for a little bit, we'll do the few fast pass rides and then really just soak in the rest of the experience, if you will. You know, the, the park as a whole can kind of be an attraction. Sure. Sure. You, so you're not, you don't have that, uh, you know, hustle and bustle. We got to hit all of these rides. We got to kind of do a commando style or, yeah. You know, we, we do we have, try we really try, hard we try, not to, we try really hard not to do the commando style, but sometimes when you're, you know, at, uh, when you're at the magic kingdom and you see that certain rides have a really low wait time, you kind of put on the, uh, commando boots, if you will, and, <laughs> and hustle, but we we try not to. Um, so, okay, so it's more of it sounds to me so far like it's more of just you're enjoying the park for the park's sake, not enjoying the park for the ride's sake. Exactly, and one of the things that we came up with that I shared on Looper Nation Live was our, uh, you know, Walt Disney World. Uh, people watching bingo where we actually found an app where we created a bingo board of things you typically see in Walt Disney World like you know people wearing Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Mickey and Minnie shirts mm-hmm. uh, lots of different things uh, the loose balloon and the three kids and one stroller is the hardest to find but <laughs> people basically it's uh, a people watching so it's great people watching And it's great to just, like Justin said, soak in the park. There's so many little details. We've been several times this year, and I feel like we're still finding new places that we want to try. And it it just, we're, we try not to rush through the parks and really appreciate everything and and all the details. Stop for pictures at the photo pass and and do things that maybe we wouldn't if we were rushing through the park. And I'm going to sound like a broken record. A lot of it has to do with food. Well, you know, I... There's so many restaurants to try. You know, I, I was when we were talking about this, I was trying to think of, you know, percentage wise, how much of the landscape have we really tried and covered? And even though we live two hours away, we've, you know, go a handful of times each year. I'd say we've only tried a quarter of the restaurants. If that. If many. that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, talk about so, uh, the, some of the best restaurants on the planet. Truly. I mean, it's not uh, we're not just saying that these are great restaurants. Definitely. Some of some of our favorites, um, you know, we obviously like to try quick service when we're in the parks. And that's a great thing. There's so many 
updates to some of the quick service menus that you've seen. And um, I follow a lot of the food, you know, Disney food blog and lots of the different sites that always keep updates on different menus. But um, there's a lot of great restaurants at the resorts that uh, we frequent mm-hmm. quite often and a lot more that we need to try. Would you consider, would you consider going to Walt Disney World and, and not going into the parks? I think we definitely would. Um, you know, there's, if you're resort hopping, there's so much to see at all the different resorts. There's so many other activities, especially with how uh, built up Disney Springs is now. We love going to Splitsville at Disney Springs. Uh, we love just walking around and window shopping at Disney Springs. We actually talked about for New Year's Eve going over to Disney World just to stay at the resort. Our annual passes are blocked out so we couldn't go into the park, but just really soak up the resort, enjoy Mm. Disney Springs, have dinner at a nice restaurant, and then just kind of be in the world um, for New Year's and, and not even go into the park at all. You can get a Dole Whip at the Polynesian. That's right. That's right. That is a great idea. And then you're not fighting. You're not fighting those massive crowds that we hear about at Magic Kingdom and, and Epcot. For, That's the thing. Uh, when yeah. you look at like a crowd calendar and you see that it's a ten yeah. for Sunday, so it's just you know it. So there's sometimes where it just it's not. It's almost not even worth it. Now, granted, there's we're very fortunate that we live so close where we can have that attitude but um you know there's a lot of folks out there that will plan their trip around that um it's just we're fortunate that we have a the drive a close drive but when we stayed at a resort we stayed at beach club um over the summer we actually crashed a small part of um jen and joey's disney trip um (laughs) But we almost spent an entire day at the beach club. We went to the pool. We enjoyed all of the amenities in the hotel. It's probably, it's, I think, my favorite hotel. Mm-hmm. I think it's just so wonderfully themed. And and we had a great day. We felt like we were somewhere completely different. And the Crescent Lake area is great for running yep. and, and just exploring. I would say the Crescent Lake area in general is, uh, at least in my opinion, probably the best area for couples because okay. of the proximity to so many different restaurants, so many different activities, uh, you know, at the very end, you know, from you have so many dinner options, whether you walk in Epcot or walk into the studios. And then at the end of the night, you can watch the fireworks in Epcot, turn around and watch the fireworks at the studios. Right, right. So, I mean, obviously, uh, during uh, food and wine, there can't be a better resort than uh, one of the runs around uh, Crescent Lake. Totally. Give yeah. a quick walk back to the room after you're filled up with food and take a nap. <laughs> yeah, take a nap. You know, have have all your tastes of wine in, in the morning in the early afternoon and then go back at night. Sure, sure. I love that idea. Uh, that that's a great idea. So uh, let me ask you, we're gonna we're gonna kinda start at the I, I wrote down I did write down some notes actually. <laughs> so um so what what would you say everybody probably already knows the answer to this, but what would you say the uh, best um, park for couples, adult couples would be? Hmm. That's a toughie. Hmm. Definitely Epcot. (laughs) I agree. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, you know, world, world showcase is, uh, is just awesome. There's no other way to put it. You've got the ability to drink around the world, eat around the world. Just even walk around and explore all the different shops and all the different little areas that are kind of, some of them are hidden back a little bit um, from kind of the main area you're walking. So I feel like we're always discovering something new. Right, right. And and again, you don't have that uh, with the kids. The kids are always like, come on, what are we going to ride next? What are we going to ride next? So uh, that I'm looking forward to that. And, and another thing you guys touch on and, and there is, there's, there's, uh, you know, some adult beverages for, for the adults going around, but that's not, um, that's not the necessarily the focal point. When people think about couples going to Walt Disney world, it's like, Oh, where are you going to drink? And that's not necessarily the focal point, right? Mm-mm. No, this last time we went, we went back into Um, the area of France and we watched a whole video about the French countryside and 
Was it circa, Paris? Circa 19... <laughs> the okay, well, I've never right. been to France, so I really enjoyed it. But there's so many things. There's all the shows that they do that we don't mm-hmm. always get to stop and, and enjoy. And so I really like that part of, of the World Showcase. Mm-hmm. By the way, that was a hint, Justin, when she said, I've never been to France. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was yeah, subtle. The, <laughs> I tried. There, there is a Disneyland in France. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. Um, okay, so that so Epcot's got to be the park for couples. What about resorts? Well, Brittany already said that you know Beach Club, and we've already uh, you know said the Crescent Lake Resort area. You've got the Boardwalk. You've got Yacht Swan Club, and Dolphin. Swan and Dolphin. Um, another area that I feel like gets overlooked a little bit is the Sasagula River area. Right. Yeah, you know, you've got Port Orleans. You've got uh, Old Key West, Disney Springs, and boat transportation over to Disney Springs, which has so many non-park and you know also restaurant options and so many other activities like Buena Vista Golf. So, um, and then aside from that, I think over the next couple of years, Pop Century might even be in consideration because of the Skyliner. All oh, right, right, yeah. Um, this, I was thinking the same thing, like uh, for. For kids, kids need that that stimulation. They love the all stars, uh, some of the some of the moderates. But uh, I know my son. When we talk about, hey, do you want to stay at uh, um, uh, the Grand Floridian? We always go over to the Grand Floridian, check it out. My wife and daughter love it. He's like, no way. I'm not. I'm not. I, this is too fancy. I don't like it. And he's 16 years old now. So, but for for adults, or couples, I, I would think that would be a wonderful place to stay. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. They have the sense of spa. They have so many wonderful restaurants. I think the only reason why we, you know, may take a, a second look at it is because of the proximity of the magic kingdom and so many families with kids, <laughs> you right. know, for just for, for us, you know, if well, granted, you're going to have kids at, at, at Disney world, but if you're a, a couple, um, you know, the other areas, are convention hotels that may just have a different group of people that you're staying around. Not that we don't love everybody. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And if, and if you have, we always, because we're lucky enough to just to hop over there, keep an eye on the special rates. So we have been lucky enough when we knew we wanted to really just stay at a resort for a weekend, we splurged and stayed a couple of nights on the club level at beach club. And so really being able to fill our water bottles, grab a soda in the morning before, grab a quick bite to eat before we wanted to go to the pool or, or even just sit up there and, and relax was really relaxing, quiet and, and a nice way um, to do something special just for us. Oh yeah. So and then is... of course the grand flow has the wedding chapel. Oh yeah. I don't think... So yeah. if you're, if you're willing to, you know, splurge on on that it's a great great backdrop that's that's quite the splurge by the way (laughs) (laughs) a a wedding at the chapel you know honeymoon cruise on the grand one what's better sure what kind of wedding are you planning (laughs) i was gonna say you (laughs) you bet you you need to write this down Brittany, and say okay (laughs) this is this is considered a a verbal contract at this point (laughs) Um, but that, that's, a, you know, that's a good point. So you do as, as, uh, adults going to Walt Disney world, you do consider, um, where the kids are going to be. You, d- you don't necessarily want to be surrounded by the kids all the time. No, I mean, you know, it's, it's, that's the great part about Disney is that there's so many different options for so many different people. So yeah, we will consider it as maybe where we stay, but not necessarily where we, uh, tend to, uh, have activities. So, you know, we'll go over to the Polynesian and go to, uh, Trader Sam's, uh, and from there maybe do a monorail bar crawl. <laughs> right. Right. Sure. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, we keep that in consideration, especially, um, for dinner and things like that. Okay. All right. What about the water parks? Brittany has no experience at the water. I was not invited to Water Park Wednesday. Just yes. kidding. <laughs> oh, my. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so the water parks are uh, 
as for, for couples, that's a that's a good question. Um, Justin went with Joey. Yeah, I went with Joey. So I was, so so you, you know, were a couple. We we had a mandate. <laughs> Um, and when we had our mandates, we would usually go for a couple of hours and then, uh, you know, get our sliding in and then go on to another, another activity out in the bubble. Um, but I think, uh, if you're, if you pack patience, you can have a good time there. Okay. All right. Cause you are dealing with a lot of families, a lot of kids. Okay. And okay. you're, and you're dealing with, uh, lines with no fast passes. Right. Right. There is that. And listen, uh, we're not saying that, uh, you know, there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with saying, you know, I, I love Walt Disney World. I want to go to Walt Disney World. Um, but I don't always want to be surrounded by, you know, a whole bunch of kids and, and tired kids that uh, have been at the parks all day. You do want to do adult things. And that's kind of why mm-hmm. we're doing this show is to yeah, show exactly. that you can do adult things and there's nothing wrong with saying okay we're, we're going to take a break from the kids you know so um, and and we're kids at heart too you know we'll, we'll we'll go to chef mickey's we'll we'll uh you know rope drop magic kingdom and you try to do the mind train but you know it's there's also some times where it, we want to just uh, relax as two yeah. of us mm-hmm. absolutely absolutely that's fantastic. How about uh, Disney Springs? What uh, what are your favorites to do? You already said Splits Bills, one of your one of your favorite. What uh, what are some of the other uh, favorites over at uh, Disney Springs? Uh, we love Homecoming. The food is oh, amazing, isn't it? Though, isn't <laughs> you, it? You you and Tim had the, were oh. were lucky enough to try it when you were down there for the Looper Meet, and yes. I think you'd agree that I feel like with the uh, Empress Lily now being Paddlefish, Ooh. worst name ever. Uh, <laughs> although we, you know, I can't judge it on the food. But my point is, I think Homecoming will be the like central restaurant in Disney Springs because it so represents the whole theme of the area with Florida and everything. And the food is just fantastic. That's fried cool. chicken hum- and hummingbird cake. That's all you need to know. And a right. lot of the restaurants are open pretty late there, um, mm-hmm. almost till I think two a.m. Splitsville. Um, Morimoto has the um, the walk up and homecoming, so it's nice when you want to get a late bite to eat. You want a snack, a dessert, mm-hmm. the hummingbird cake mm-hmm. at homecoming is so good. We also love, we also like the Jock Lindsay's hangar bar. We really need to try the boathouse. That is another one that I think will be, you know, is one of the more highly uh, mm-hmm. decorated restaurants. Um, so, so that, and there's so, so the, much left to try. Right. The West End seems to be geared more toward uh, the adult, the, the couples that are going. That's that's a good point. Yeah. Down there, you've got House of Blues, Bongos. Um, the Wolfgang Puck uh, Cafe is going to change into a new concept um, over the next few months. Um, so, And you're just a short walk up to Saratoga Springs, which is really convenient if you're staying in that area or you just want to go to the turf club right <laughs> right right or like you said take the boats up to uh you know uh, riverside or port Orleans uh, uh up there uh, uh french quarter and that's a that's a See great yeehaw, Bob and right right so that that uh opens me up to the next question i have for you how do you consider where you're staying and what you're going to do based upon the transportation that's available? Well, we're, you know, we obviously know that uh, we always have the buses, but the, of course the buses don't run resort to resort. Right. So I would say we try to consider where we're going to stay, I guess, mostly around where we're going to be dining Sure. Uh, dining or, uh, you know, different, uh, re- or bar. If you know, we're going to spend more time in one particular park. Mm-hmm. Um, I always like saying at resorts that have the boat transportation, I always just think it's so relaxing to be able to take a boat mm-hmm. to and from your resort. And so that's mm-hmm. a favorite of mine. But we also will rely on, you know, lift. Or- and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brittany's already said she absolutely has to take a minivan. Yeah. Or- Yes, I just want to take a minivan. I think they look so cool. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, just love that that's themed, too. 
Yes, yes, and it's going to be. I, I I really like the uh, the convenience of it, and the you know, and not that there's anything wrong with any of the other ones. Please, uh, everybody out there, don't don't misunderstand. But you know, when you take like a Disney cruise, they tell you the best the best uh, shore excursions to take are the ones that Disney sponsors because mm-hmm. the they will hold the ship for you if um if the excursion for whatever reason is running late where other excursions that that are not Disney excursions if they're running late guess what <laughs> you got to try and catch the boat at the next stop yeah. <laughs> you know so i like that convenience i like uh i mean you know you're talking maybe 10 bucks more to do the minivans depending on where you're going and what you're doing so why not have that convenience plus and I'm with Brittany on this. I can't wait to to hear the stories that the drivers have and have that conversation. Yes, definitely. And it's just nice if you are running late or you want to spend a little bit more time at a park or resort to be able to go resort to resort or or wherever you oh, need yeah. to go in the minivan. I think I think that's taken so much stress off of. Um, the, the grown-ups, the adults that want to spend a little bit more time at Jock Lindsay's or, or a little bit more, you know, maybe you would say, okay, well, I'm not going to get another drink because I got, you know, uh, we got to get going. Where now you can kind of take your time and say, you know, let's just hang out a little bit longer. We're having a great time. And you know that the minivans are going to be there for you. Exactly. Exactly. I we we were in that situation uh, on our most recent trip where we had dinner and bowling at Splitsville and we wanted to uh, make sure we got to the Magic Kingdom in time for a happily ever after. And so we knew we were going to, we knew we didn't have a bus option from Disney Springs over to the kingdom. So we right. uh, called up our Lyft app and got a, cut a lift over to the Contemporary, short walk over to the um, Magic Kingdom. But if you're in a minivan, you'll be able to be dropped off at the bus loop for the parks right right how great's that and then uh, not to mention you know when you have dining reservations maybe it's going to free up that that uh, being able to make uh, better dining options if you're like you said at the at, at uh, magic kingdom let's say and you want to make dining reservations at uh, uh you know homecoming you don't have to you don't have to sit there and take uh, as long to get from one place to another because the minivans are going to get you there. That's going to be great. Especially if you find a uh, last minute reservation, like my wife is so great at finding. <laughs> right. Exactly. And, and really that's a great point that you bring up folks. You gotta, you gotta keep checking those reservations because people mm-hmm. cancel. Yeah. yeah. So that, you know, Brittany's made it a habit to almost, to almost check for reservations, you know, at like five, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. the night, the day before, you know, there's been a couple times where she's found, you know, Bob, this may hurt, uh, a couple <laughs> of last minute Ohanas <laughs> that we, and she's found them, we haven't taken them. And but, so we try not to really over plan our yeah. trips when we go together so we can leave time to say, like, actually, let's do Ohana at the last minute or let's go over to the Magic Kingdom and kind of just see what what's available. Right. right. I think the the overall the best advice or the best thing that we've experienced in going to Walt Disney World is we've been fortunate that we've had another couple to go with and that's Jen and Joey. So mm-hmm. for those couples that, you know, want to do this, the you know, find another couple that's as passionate about it as you are and you'll just we've had just so much fun traveling with them and you know and we don't feel like we always have to do everything together. We may do our own thing during the day. They may go to a different park, but we always just try to meet up for dinner. If we haven't spent the day together um, and catch yeah. up on what we've, we've so Bob, done. And... So, Bob, you've got that and Tim. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll have to uh, we'll have to make sure that uh, we take our wives down at the same time and, uh, mm-hmm. and meet up with you guys and, and Joe and Jen. That'll be, that'll be awesome. That uh, I, I, I got to be honest. It, it was uh, I got to look and make sure my wife's not listening. So anyway, uh, and, the, and the kids. So when uh, when we were, were down there for the looper meet, it was great to be able to hang out with you guys and uh, and Jen and Joe. And it was it was a whole different experience for Tim and I, mm-hmm. whole different experience than, than what we are used to. Um, you know, I'm about uh, well, probably about two inches shorter than what I should be from carrying kids on my shoulders. For, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> 18 years through the parks, you know. But, uh, you know, it, it was so nice. It was so very relaxing, like you have said. And, uh, and just when you have dinner, and you're going to find this, when, you're, when you have dinner with, with the kids, you're constantly <laughs> reaching over. You tend to eat a cold meal most of the time because you're always <laughs> taking care of them, cutting their food, you know, making sure they get their drink. They spill something, and it's a mess. And um, you do tend to tip a little bit better when you're... <laughs> With, with kids because you have to. You feel so bad leaving the table the way it is. Um, real quick, I got to ask you, mini golf. What do you What do you guys feel about mini golf for couples? We we we're mini golf fans. We've we've played Excellent. the uh, Gardens Course at Fantasia. Brittany's not up for the Fairways Course just yet. Joe Joe and I have played the Fairways Course, but that's a that's a great activity too. And um, especially in the Florida weather, if you catch it right after it rains. Mm-hmm. when the course is clear wink wink uh, <laughs> and it's a little cooler but it's a lot of fun we we've played a couple times played a couple times but we need we i need to take Brittany to winter summerland oh winter summerland's fantastic i love winter summerland i've played that a couple of times now it's it's so much fun it's also a lot of fun around the holidays too oh, i remember yeah. when i was a kid my mom and i would actually go over there uh, just for the day and just play mini golf and go to go to Disney Springs. There you go. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, the big question. This is Justin. You better have the right answer for this. Um, spas. Have you enjoyed any of the spas? We have not. Um, we have not at, uh, at Walt Disney World yet. However, I think after Brittany's uh half marathon in january maybe that's in the cards there you go uh, you know saratoga springs has uh senses we're staying uh at old or we're staying at uh, port orleans french quarter so we could take a take a boat over senses no promises <laughs> <laughs> we actually haven't ever tried the spa we <laughs> the only thing we've utilized the spa for, and this is going to sound uh, a little odd, oh, but God. it's for their shower facilities. Oh. So on a couple of our trips, we've gone into the parks. We've dealt with the Florida Florida heat. And we want to get cleaned up for dinner. We utilize the showers and get cleaned up and have a nice dinner. Really? Yeah. I did not know you could do that. Yep. It, uh Obviously, with the at you may not be able to anymore now. But yeah, probably (laughs) yeah, right. But with you know, they're starting to uh, utilize magic bands to to keep some of them for resort guests only. But um, I think if you're staying at the resort, even though you've checked out at noon, you can still access the Mm -hmm. spa for the same day. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Right, right. But yeah, I think you have it for the whole day. You can always access the showers at Saratoga Springs. I'll be darn. Mm-hmm. That is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, uh, you know, here's an, another another tip. Just say you're there for the DVC tour, park, use the shower, go on your way. <laughs> there you go. And golf, you know, when when Joe and golf. I went golf in there, you know, yep. I I didn't use utilize the showers, but that's, that's a, a that's a that's a yeah. bonus sneaky tip. I like that. I like that. What other tips do you guys have for for couples that uh, want to go down? I mean, we've covered the fact that you just got to keep checking for dinner reservations. Um, And I guess aside from that, keep checking on uh, rooms because there's always discounts available. Um, You know, we're fortunate that we can take advantage of pass holder discounts, sometimes Florida resident discounts. But, you know, there's always times when they'll be light on on heads and beds and they'll want to discount some rooms, especially oh, okay. our January uh, and September seem to be the, are those value seasons. It's gotten really good rates in September. And I would say take a day just to not plan anything and spend time at the resort, enjoy the pool. If it's pool weather, which in Florida it usually is, and just kind of wander around a little bit and take in all the, all the sites and, and enjoy having a, a free day. Sure. Sure. I, I will say this, and you guys uh, you guys will one day find out. Uh, enjoy it now, because as soon as you, uh, is, it, the, the food bill 
It's going to cost you an arm and a leg. I can't. My wife and I go to dinner now, just the two of us, and the waitress will bring over, a waiter will bring over the, the bill, and I'll look, and I'll be like, well, that's that can't be right. What's Why is it so cheap? What, what's going on? You know. Uh, so that's a nice that's a nice little benefit, and um, you know you can get um, it's you don't need those big rooms for those families that uh, you know they might have three or four kids. You don't have to worry about that. Now you can go to Disney and just get a a nice regular room. So um, yeah, exactly. And I, I will say this: even though we're happily married for uh, eight months, when we, I think it was for it was for the Looper meet. We were staying at uh, All Star Music. We were so happy with two double beds. <laughs> they are small beds. The double beds are small beds. Yeah, yeah. I understand that completely. You need at least a queen, preferably a king. But, so, but even even then, you know, you're 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 doing so much walking. You're so tired. Sometimes you just really want a good night's sleep. In your own bed. <laughs> In your own bed. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I tend to every now and then get a nice knee in my back. I don't know if... I'm hoping she's sleeping and dreaming. I'm hoping that's yeah. what's going on. Right? <laughs> Not just she's mad at me again. So, uh, Well, I think... Uh, is there anything else that we haven't covered that you guys would want to talk about? Mm, I mean... There's there's just so many options. Uh, the I'll I'll add one more thing. Sorry for rambling. We were there a couple of weeks ago, and Brittany found uh, a nice little spot in uh, Italy in the World Showcase called the Tutto Gusto Wine Cellar. Uh, it's connected to the the larger restaurant Tutto. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the it's the fine dining in mm. Italy. Fabulous. Great wine selection. We had some great wine flights, great Italian appetizers. It's lots of little small plates. It was great for oh, okay. uh, sharing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It, it was like a little hidden gem. I don't know how we had never hmm. found it before, mm-hmm. but it was just the best relaxing meal I think we've had. Right. One of our fa- it, It's going to be one of our, our favorite spots. Our go to spots in, now. In Epcot. Excellent. Excellent. That's a that, and again, like you said, you know, Epcot is just such a great. Uh, I always said it's a fantastic stroll. You know, you mm. get to see so much, and it's just so beautiful there. And uh, uh, we, when you when you have kids, you really don't have an opportunity to explore like you guys get to. Mm-hmm. And uh, so th- we're looking forward to that. That's going to be so much fun. So, uh, and then and then hopefully that Guardians ride will be open by the time that we have kids. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. So well. we'll just, you know, you, you'll be you'll be getting off uh, going into World Showcase. We'll be getting on with, right. with all of our stuff. So right. Nice passing and of the torch. Maybe by then the the second Avatar movie will be out too. By the time your kids go yeah. to college. So there you go. Probably. No, they'll, they'll be in their third jobs by the time that movie gets made. Yeah. <laughs> It sure seems that way. Oh yeah. my goodness! Uh, what are you looking forward to, real quick? We'll we'll wrap it up here in a second. But what are you looking forward to with all the new stuff coming? I th- uh, I'm I, you know I'm I have a lack of patience, so I'm most looking forward to Toy Story Land, which is the first big right. change at Hollywood Studios. Right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all the new rides at the studios. I think I love Toy Story Midway Mania so much. I know I'm just gonna love the whole land. So. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm also looking forward to once Star Wars Land open, that hopefully Toy Story Land will be a little less occupied. That's you know that's going to be the key. That's going to it's going to be really interesting to see how all of this is going to play out as far as uh, wait times and all of that stuff. Because uh, uh, I'm real interested to see how um, the uh, Frozen ride, uh, the time, the wait times for that. After Guardians opens and Ratatouille opens and all of that stuff, uh, but the Mine Train line will still be as high as ever. Right, right, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, well, guys, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it, especially in uh, uh, with Mister Scott being uh, enjoying his vacation. He should. I just want to go on vacation. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
But thank you so much. Those are great tips. Can't wait. Uh, I mean, I can wait. You never want to wish away time. But no, no, but you'll enjoy it when you get there. <laughs> exactly. I promise. Exactly. Thank you so much for having us on. Absolutely. Brittany and Justin Leeser. See, I know how to say it. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming on the show. No problem. Thank you, uh, Thanks right. for having us. Absolutely. That's all I've got. Don't forget uh, social media. We're everywhere. Uh, like us on Facebook. Rate us on iTunes. We appreciate that. Subscribe to the show. Share it with everybody. Uh, You've been listening to The Gateway to the Magic, and uh, see you, everybody. Thanks for listening to the show, but now you want to share your love of Disney, right? Unfortunately, a lot of our friends, family, and co-workers just don't share the same enthusiasm we do for all things Disney. Well, now MyDizMatch.com has made it even easier with the all-new MyDizMatch apps for iOS and Android devices. Just download the MyDizMatch app and connect with new Disney friends today. And now, for a limited time, you'll get your first month of full membership free just for signing up. Look for the new My Dismatch apps on iTunes and Google Play and start connecting with real Disney friends today. So. Well, we have we we've made some notes. Excellent. So, excellent. That's more than that's more than usually Tim and I do. So that's, that's perfect. <laughs> so. You guys are professional. <laughs> oh no.